Hey guys, welcome back to The Mothership. Today I'm going to show you how to make these weird as hell nails that are filled with real water. Like what? There are a couple of videos here on YouTube under the title Aquarium Nails. If you guys want to like watch more about this strange nail, it's not even a trend. It's like a weird nail. Let me know in the comments below what color nail polish you're wearing on your toes. I am currently obsessed with Blue Away by Sally Hansen. It's what I'm wearing on my nails today. Today's video is a collaboration with my good friend, Hello Maffy. She makes incredible tutorials, and today she's gonna show you guys how to make a liquid foam case that looks like a nail polish bottle. It is the cutest thing that you will ever see, so be sure to head on over and show her some love. Give this video a thumbs up, a very watery thumbs up. If you drink some kind of liquid every day. <laughs> also, please be sure to hit the subscribe button to become an honorary styler because we're trying to reach 500,000 stylers. You guys can also find my sister's YouTube channel right over here where she draws and stuff. Let's get her to a thousand. I know we can do it, guys. So for today's project, you're gonna need all this stuff. I got all of this from Sally's Beauty Supply and this strange lamp thingamabobber is a UV lamp. It's this light that helps harden your nails. So we're going to start off by picking out some clear nails. You are going to need two different sizes. One that is fitting enough for the nail that you want to apply this to and the other that is going to go above that nail, which is really weird. But that's how we're going to create this little tank of water today. Using a nail file, start to kind of uh, file down the nail so it fits better on your fingernail. Then once you do that, you're going to go ahead and do the same for the smaller nail. The smaller nail is actually going to be glued on top of that nail to leave a little bit of space in between to fill with water. So that's basically how we're doing this today. Now using some brush on nail glue, you're going to go ahead and add a little bit of nail glue at the tip, then kind of place the smaller one above it but not completely lined up at the end. Kind of move the shorter nail so it's more like that at the end. The side that we're gluing together is actually going to be the end of your nail and the area that we're creating that little hole and that empty space is going to be all the way at the moon area of your nails. You're gonna let this dry for a couple seconds. It dries super fast. Then once you let it dry, you're going to go ahead and seal the sides with this thing called sculpting gel. It's a gel that you apply and then once you put it into the UV light, it actually hardens it to make it completely sealed. Uh, you need to make sure that you take your time with this and make sure that it's you know, neatly sealed all around because if it's not completely sealed then the water will leak out later. So just pay a little extra attention here. I'm just using a tiny brush that I also got from Sally and I'm just, you know, sealing one side at a time and curing it in the UV lamp or just like letting my hand sit under the lamp for about 30 seconds after each side. Now, I know it's not really the case every time, but I've heard that in some cases when you put your hand under the UV lamp, it leaves a st sticky residue on your nail that you have to wipe off. This isn't the case every time, but if you find that your nails, that the area with the gel is still sticky, you will need a cotton ball with some rubbing alcohol and just make sure that you wipe it off afterwards. And I promise the inside is gonna be nice and hardened and completely good to go. For a while I was so confused and I swear I spent probably like half an hour trying to cure my one fingernail because I didn't understand what was happening. I was like, why is it still sticky? So once the sides are completely sealed, now comes the fun part. We get to fill the tank with glitter and other fun things. Now this part it is very fun, but it can get very messy because we're trying to get very sparkly, glittery things into a very small space. So as you can imagine, it can be kind of crazy. I would recommend that you guys use light materials and avoid overfilling because if it's too heavy inside of the nail, it's just gonna have trouble moving around. I'm just using a smaller nail here to scoop up the materials and lightly dust it into the nail. So in order to add the liquid to the nail, you can use either baby oil, rubbing alcohol, or water if you wanna just keep it simple. Some people like to use actual like needles, like medical needles to inject water into the nail because it's such a small space and it helps it be more um, more precise. All I happened to have when I was filming this was pipettes and that works too, but I do ha I will say it's a little bit of a struggle avoiding bubbles when you're doing this. And if you do find that you do get bubbles, then just take your two fingers and kind of like tap it, you know, kind of like a needle. Is that what people, is that what nurses do? Yeah, just kind of like tap it and wait for all the bubbles to rise out of the nail and then 
continue filling it. I would recommend that you avoid overfilling it with water because if it's too full, then it's not gonna have any room to move around in the nail. So just leave like, I'd say probably fill it 90% of the way. Now that it's filled with liquid, we're going to go ahead and seal the end of our nail, which is going to be like the moon part. So you're gonna take your sculpting gel once again and you're going to start adding layers and putting it under the lamp for like 30 seconds every time. Um, it took me probably like two times. So like I did like one layer, put it under the lamp for 30 seconds and then another layer and completely sealed it off and it was good to go. Um, after you seal it off, you're going to clean it off with rubbing alcohol or if you wanna get super professional, you can also use this gel cleanse thing. Okay, so this last part is super important. No matter how many times I cleaned it off with rubbing alcohol, for some reason the nail kept fogging up and like it was not clean and I was just like, what is even the point of this being a clear nail if it keeps fogging up like this? And so I discovered that what you have to do is you have to cover the whole nail, both on the bottom and on the top with layers of gel, okay? So take a brush. In my case, I'm using this other flatter brush and I just went ahead and completely covered the nail all over on the bottom and on the top. And once again, you're gonna cure it under the lamp for 30 seconds on both sides. Again, you're gonna go ahead and clean it off with some rubbing alcohol and you'll find that it'll stay nice and clear. It won't fog up and you'll have a real clear nail, which kind of looks like a drop of water, which is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> now you can go ahead and leave it just as is, or you could go ahead and add crystals, glitter, things on top of it using the nail glue. You can also go ahead and paint it. In my case, I did like this cute little design, which again, I got inspiration from like the other YouTube videos. You can do like the circle all around the nail and then finish off with dots, with little wider dots using a bobby pin, which is super handy for making dots on nails. So that's kind of what I did here. I cured it for 30 seconds once again. And at this point, uh, you're pretty much ready to apply it to your finger if you wish. So now in order to attach this to your nail, it is super easy. All you have to do is buff your nail, clean it off with rubbing alcohol, apply the nail glue to your fingernail. Do you guys ever have days when you try to get both of the wings of your eyeliner even, and you just keep like adding onto both of them and they end up looking insane and raccoon-like. That's kind of how I feel about my nails today. <laughs> the way that I filmed this today was kind of weird because like I made the nail without really building it on my finger. Uh, you can do this. You, you can make your nail like the way that I did it today or you can start off by literally gluing that first nail onto your finger and then just like working on your finger the whole time. People do it in different ways. I think it's a little bit easier to understand seeing it the way that I did it today. Um, hopefully you guys understood how to do this. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them because I know this is kind of like a crazy project. So that is pretty much what the final product looks like. It looks really cool, especially when you're outside because of the way that the light reflects off of the water in your nails. It just looks really interesting. Like if I ever saw this in person, I would definitely ask the person, what is up with your nails? They look awesome, very watery, very oceanic, <laughs> very Atlantic. I don't even know. Let me know in the comments below whose nails are more on fleek. Don't forget to watch Hello Maffy's video and show her some love. And if you guys want to stay connected, you can find all my social media information in the description box below. I go live on you now every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern time if you guys ever want to hang out. And I also snap daily or at least try my best to snap daily. Oh, by the way, how do I forget this? You guys, I'm going to be at VidCon this next Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You guys, if you see me, please say hello because I want to say hello to you and we can take selfies and do the alien finger selfie. If you guys follow me on you now, then you know what that is. Love you to the moon and I will see you soon. Keep stuff.